What's up, YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader coming back to you with another What to Buy on eBay video. Lots of really good items to take a look at. Vintage Kenner stuff. We got a baggie. We got lots of mint on cards. Some vintage collection at auction, as well as a ton of comic books. The comic book market is down. And as I always tell you guys, make sure to buy in auctions because there are some good deals out there. Patreon supporter Gary Wallace. I need to say thank you to you as well as to Jason W. Both of you recently increased your Patreon amount. I really appreciate it. Patreon.com slash Action Figure Grader is where you can go to sign up to get early access to all my videos. Okay, I've got some buy it now situation items as well as some auctions. And I think in kind of a weird market, auction is the way to go when possible. And so I try to pick out a pretty good kind of list here for you guys and hopefully you find something you like. I can't remember what episode we're up to. It's like 43 or 44, 45, something like that. But uh, you guys seem to like these videos a lot, so I try to put them together when I can. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to start off with a couple of vintage books. The first one is Star Wars number 7. And this is the first expanded universe novel from the vintage Marvel run. So the first six books are all adaptations of A New Hope. This is the first expanded universe book. And uh, it's, it's just a great looking book. You can see there that CGC labeled in the upper right, first expanded universe story in title. We just looked at one of these that sold at auction for, I believe, $177. You might want to go check the eBay sold listings on that. That's a great deal on this book. This thing was going for the longest time for $350 or more. And uh, it's a great Han Solo cover. This is from 1978. Uh, and uh, this is just one of those kind of great secondary keys that uh, is worth a look. This one ends on Monday. Uh, and so you got five days left in this auction. Next up is another one I like. This is Star Wars number eight, so the very next book, and this is the first appearance of Jackson Rabbit, and I actually like this cover better. I don't know which one's more important. They usually go for about the same amount. This one maybe goes for a little bit more, uh, usually around 250 or so. This one got up to $600, believe it or not, during the height of the comic book market, but great looking cover, and uh, I would say this is probably the more desirable of the two. But they're both pretty good books, and with the comic book market down, hopefully they go for relatively cheap. I've got some vintage mocks. We've got a 12-back Ben Kenobi AFA 75. This is a 12-back seat at auction. 70, 85, 85 are the subgrades. So really great sub two really great subgrades. No price sticker, unpunched example. And uh, this is over in the UK. For those of you in the UK, this is probably what you want to look at uh, if you got some deep pockets. It's at 420 pounds now, which is 521 U.S. dollars for a 12-back C Kenobi AFA 75. I expect that one to easily double, but uh, maybe it goes cheap and you can pick it up uh, in a pretty good deal. But 70, 85, 85 are the subscores. Again, it's an unpunched card and uh, in pretty great shape. It certainly presents a lot nicer than a 75. I mean, that card looks really nice. Lots of edge wear to it, it looks like, in the upper left, as well as to the left of the blister. Probably why it got the 75, given that two of the subscores are 85s. Uh, next up, I've got some ungraded mocks. We've got the 31-back Princess Leia Bespin Gown. This is a clear blister unpunched. What an awesome-looking card. Looks like it might just have some light spider veins and creases on the card. Uh, I would think that it, this is probably going to be a 75 or an 80 grade. Uh, beautiful condition for the blister and the card, really. Uh, so this one has only got one bid so far. This one's got four days and five hours left. It ends Sunday evening, my time. 150 bucks is the current bid on that one. So, you know, uh, you just never know what you're going to get with some of these auctions. And sometimes these things can go for cheap. And this one certainly looks like a beautiful example. Again, unpunched, no price sticker, clear blister, Leia Organa. And I believe that's the debut card in pretty good shape overall. Um, a couple of Luke Bespins that are not in the best condition, but I wanted to show them because they are nice looking cards. This one's yellow. This is the Empire Strikes Back uh Luke Bespin, this is the 41 back offer list with the Unitoys stamp on the back. Uh, the card does have some obvious condition issues, so factor that in. Right now it's at $280, and there's four days, five hours left on that one. Again, yellowed blister on that one, but pretty nice looking example with uh, the kind of the light light brown hair uh, for that Luke Bespin. And then another Luke Bespin that's in worse condition is the transition card. Tough to find this transition card. 
uh, free Neon Numb offer, Return of the Jedi. Uh, obviously, near the hang tab, there's some wear there. So this is probably at best a 70, maybe a 75 if you're really lucky. Uh, very slightly yellowed blister. And again, the same hair color. This one might be a little bit darker, kind of the mustard brown hair color, as well as the torso is discolored, which we've talked about in past videos, that this particular Luke Bespin uh, with the brown hair, for whatever reason, that torso does discolor. So factor that in as well. The back of the card actually looks better and presents better than the front near the hang tab. You can see some obvious wear there. So uh, factor that into your price. Right now it's at $164 with three days and 21 hours left. This ends Sunday morning, my time. But pretty great looking transition card. Tough to find that one. Next up, we've got some vintage collection. This one is uh, a buy it now situation. I did receive an offer for this oddball. It's unpunched U.S. card for one hundred and twenty-one dollars. So, uh, and it's also free shipping, and that's kind of right in line with where oddball has been selling, right around one hundred and twenty-five bucks. Um, not my favorite, but uh, kind of a rudimentary looking character, but. That seems to be the going rate for Oddball. And, uh, you know, again, it's the U.S. card, unpunched, very, very light edgeware, VC-97. And it's $121 and change. Free shipping is the offer I received from the seller. Uh, next up is Star Killer. This one's at auction with no bids. Uh, this one ends on Sunday at 1 o'clock my time. And Star Killer has come way down in price. And this one's listed for $145 plus $12.55 shipping. And this is the unpunched U.S. first release of Star Killer with the Darth Maul offer. This one obviously has come down since the reissue has hit the market. So, anyway, uh, I, I think that now's a pretty good time to pick up the first issue Star Killer if that's what you are looking for. I've already got it in my collection, signed by Sam Witwer, who voice acted Star Killer in the. Uh, Force Unleashed video game. So I've already got it in my collection, but this is a nice looking example. 145 bucks is a starting bid. I'm guessing it'll probably sell for 145 to 175, somewhere in that ballpark. Uh, next up is Darth Vader VC 115 Emperor's Wrath. Uh, this is another one that's come way down in price. This one got up to about 300 bucks. This one looks to be in really clean condition. U.S. card unpunched. And this is a buy it now situation with eight watchers on it for $160 plus its make an offer. $10 shipping. So that seems like a pretty good price. Make sure you zoom in on the photos and make sure it's the condition that you want. Looks like it's got a little bit of card wave, but overall, very, very clean looking card. Um, hard to tell on that on that punch there if it's, it's starting to come loose. So just keep all that kind of stuff in mind as you're looking at it. But at first blush, this seems like a pretty good buy at $160, but it's also making an offer and there's eight watchers on that one. Next up is the original issue Ahsoka US card unpunched at auction. Six days, seven hours left as of the banking of this video. Right now it's at $102.50. I've seen them go for as low recently as $288. Usually $250 to $350 seems to be the going rate now. It's come way down, uh, but it, do it does seem to be all over the place in terms of price. Again, just double check all the photos to make sure it's the condition you want. But at first blush, very casual look, uh, this original issue VC-102 Ahsoka seems to be in really good condition for the U.S. card. Again, unpunched. Next up, we've got some very, very heavy hitters. This is an unpunched Obi-Wan Kenobi VC-116. Very tough to find this one unpunched. We just documented one that sold for insane money. Uh, but this one's at auction. It's at $180 with three days and nine hours left. So this one ends Saturday evening at 10.15. Uh, but wow, you know, this VC-116 Obi-Wan unpunched on the U.S. card is very, very tough to find. And I expect this one to go for big money. But if you want it and you have to have it unpunched, uh, here's one at auction right now. And as always, I'll put the item numbers in the video description so you guys can look them up. Uh, next up is another very rare one. VC-04 Luke Skywalker Bespin TVC unpunched and graded AFA 85. So... Uh, the last one I remember uh, sold for about 800 bucks, and that but that was a while ago. So maybe it comes down in price and doesn't go for that. Right now it's at 309 dollars with three days and nine hours left. But uh, this is a very very tough to find uh, early TVC VC04 unpunched. There's not many of these out there, and it's some very you know fairly high grade 85, 85, 90 are the sub scores. It's also missing the saber inside the blister. So you can see very clearly there that the Sabre is not packed in. So I, I can't wait to see this what this one sells for. It very well could sell for $1,000 plus. I don't know. 
But uh, it, it's going to be fun to watch to see what it sells for. But I did want to make folks aware of that one because that's pretty rare. Not only is it an error missing an accessory, but it's also an unpunched VCO4, which is very, very tough to find. I bet there's less than, I don't know. I, 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 can't, I can't imagine that there's many of these on the population report with AFA. Next up, we got a baggie for uh, the Biker Scout. Un, uh, this is a sealed, unopened baggie, and it's at auction. This is, I believe, the ESBD baggie, but don't quote me on that. Uh, it looks to be you know, completely 100% sealed. A uh, little bit of wrinkle to it, but overall, the, the wording on the baggie is in great shape. This is at 36 bucks with five days and eight hours left as the making of this video. Uh, some comic books. We've got Clone Wars number eight, the first Clone Commander Wolf appearance. And, I, I, you know, this is a secondary key. Certainly, Clone Wars number one or the one I'm getting ready to show you are bigger books and ones I'd consider over this book. But if you got Clone Wars number one and you got the next one I'm getting ready to show you, uh, then this is not a bad option. It's a beautiful cover showing Asajj Vitrus attacking Plo Kloon in like an Arctic environment. And it's only... Uh, it's nine days, five hours left on, on this auction. There's only one bid at 99 cents. So I'm guessing this one goes for about 120 bucks. That's my rough guess. Uh, but here's the one I, I get ahead of ahead of that one, and that's Clone Wars number six. This is kind of the first time you see Ahsoka Tano on the cover as a true Jedi Padawan and not cowering or hiding like she does in uh, Clone Wars number two, which is her second appearance comic. Or in Clone Wars number one, where you see her from behind. Obviously, Clone Wars number one is the one you want, but this is a really great cover and tends to command good money on the secondary market. I bet it goes for over 200 bucks, but this is a CGC 9.8 for Clone Wars number six. Next up, I've got some Thrawn books. Thrawn number one, The Origin of Grand Admiral Thrawn. Uh, this is the standard cover A, and this one's come way down. Uh, there's nine days left on this one right now, it's at 10 bucks in the auction. And uh, I, I expect this one to sell for around 150 bucks, but you can't go wrong with, with Thrawn's origin story. Um, we obviously know he's coming to the Ahsoka series, and this is a great cover. I've got this one in my collection. Or you can uh, go for this one, Thrawn number six, which is the first cameo appearance of Admiral Arlani, which is a really key character within the Thrawn novels from Timothy Zahn. And again, this is another one I've got in my collection. This is also the first time that Grand Admiral Thrawn and Darth Vader meet in comics. So it's a good secondary key, and it goes for pretty big money. This actually goes for more money than Thrawn number one, which is the start of his origin story. So uh, tougher to find this one in a 9.8. It's still not particularly rare, but uh, if you want Thrawn number six in a 9.8, this one is at auction with nine days left. Uh, Kanan, the last Padawan number five. This is kind of an, a, a, a wonky choice, but this is the second cameo appearance of Sabine Wren, as well as the Rebels team. It, it doesn't go for big money, but if you don't want to pay the big money for Star uh, Kanan, the last Padawan number one, which goes for about 175 bucks in a 9.8, or Kanan, the last Padawan number six, which I'm going to show you in a second, this is a good way to play. Uh, the fact that the, the Rebels team is going to make an appearance in the Ahsoka series. So, uh, pretty cool looking cover. Not my, not my favorite, but uh, it kind of shows Kanan Jarrus walking away from uh, the lightsaber. And I, I bet it goes for under 100 bucks. But it is the second cameo appearance of the Rebels team. And kind of a nice secondary key. Uh, but for the Kanan series, this is the big book. This is the one you want. And uh, now's a good time to get it. Canon number six is the first full appearance of the Rebels team. An absolutely epic cover with the entire team on the cover. This one usually goes for $350 to $450 right now. I've got this one in my collection, and I'm very happy to have that one. But uh, now's a good time to pick this one up because it is relatively inexpensive versus where it has been at historical highs of $600 to $650. Uh, next up, we've got an AFA-80 Clear Blister Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker Hoth. Wow, 65 back A, clear blister, unpunched. This is going to go for some pretty good money. Now, there's 10 watchers on it, but there's no bids yet because the starting bid price is $800. I expect it to be bid on, okay? I don't know where it's going to end up. I expect it to be under $1,000, but above the starting bid of $800. I think it's worth every penny of that because it's tough to find that with a clear blister. But that's a really nice example. Unpunched, no price sticker, AFA 80, 65 back A, Luke Hoff. Man, that is a gem. Uh, and then finally, I've got a proof card. This is the Revenge of the Jedi Snaggletooth proof card. Uh, it's a buy it now situation, but it's a make an offer. It's an AFA 80 uh, for the revenge proof, and uh, it's at $1,900, and there are six watchers on it. 
I would pay if I was buying this kind of thing right now. I'd probably pay fourteen hundred bucks for it. So that's that would be the offer I would make. It's priced a little high in my opinion, but I think it's worth kind of in that fourteen hundred dollar range. Anyway, I hope you found something that you like. Thanks as always to all my Patreon supporters and subscribers, and I will be back soon.